Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to install the OVR Lip Sync plugin for Waterdo made by Zimmer, so that way you can be able to have even more expressive audio lip sync and more accurate audio lip sync for your VTuber avatar. Now, before you get started with this tutorial, I heavily recommend if you don't know how to make OVR Lip Sync blend shapes, I made a tutorial on how to rig the blend shapes. Now, while you can use Cat's Blender, um, Cat's Blender, you know, blend shapes or the OVR lip sync made from the Cat's Blender plugin. You could use those, but I will say that you won't get the full advantage of control and accuracy with those blend shapes. I would recommend making it from scratch so you have a bit more control and it can also look even more nicer depending on what style you're going for. So just keep that in mind. I mean, there's no harm in using the Cat's Blender plugin. Um, the Cat's Blender plugins for OVR Lip Sync for VR Chat, but refer to that tutorial that I made in the description below. It'll show you how to rig the blend shapes that are, you know, that works with this plugin. But either way, besides that, I'll show you on how to install this and how to set up for your tracking blueprint, whether you're iPhone or webcam user. So let's go ahead and get started. In the description below, there is this GitHub. You can be able to go down there, click on it, and from here, in order to download this, you're gonna go ahead to where it says the green button for code. Click on that, and then click on download zip, like this. And then you should, in like a few seconds, get a download for the Wadudo OVR Lip Sync here. So you just click on that zip file. Now, whether you're using Bandy Zip or Windows, whichever, uh, you should be able to extract it. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna simply just click on that, drag it there. So that way I have it extracted. Uh, either way, let me go ahead and close that folder. You should be able to have this here, which is what we're going to, uh, this file explorer, so we can be able to add the the C Sharp scripts and DLL file to our Waterdo installation so that way our Waterdo can detect this plugin. So uh, make sure you have Waterdo open, but you are gonna have to reset Waterdo uh, most likely like after this because you know, since you're gonna be loading a DLL file, you're probably most likely gonna have to restart Waterdo for this. But we're gonna have Waterdo open just so I can show you how you can quickly access the data folder. So what you're going to do in, you know, once you have Waterdo open, uh, regardless of the project you're in, you're gonna go into the Waterdo editor and you're gonna click on the purple paw at the bottom left here for menu and then click on open data folder. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and scroll down until you find the playground folder. You're going to load the CS files in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up. And then there is the CS files here. There's two of them, like so. And you're going to click and drag them into the playground folder. And then what you're going to do is that on the top part, whether you're Windows 10 or 11, you're gonna click here to go back a folder. So streaming assets up here. And then we're gonna go into the Wadado data folder here, like so. And you should be able to see these files here are these folders that has manage plugins resources stream assets and all that and here what we're going to do is we're going to right click and then create a new folder so create a new folder we're going to name this mono bleeding edge exactly like this otherwise if you name it something else it's not going to work so you have to name it exactly like this mono bleeding edge and go into that folder then you're going to add the dll file in here and then what you're gonna then do is you're going to close water dough and then reset it just just to be safe in case it doesn't load properly but we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and reset my water dough so i'll be right back so once you have finished restarting water dough and you have your setup you know activated again like you have your project here what we're going to then do is we are going to have it where we're going to connect the OVR lip sync node to our setup. Now, I now again, I know that everyone's setup can be a bit different. So what I'm going to be asking you to do is we're going to redo our motion capture setup just so it's easier to follow along with this tutorial. But once you get the hang of it, again, you can do, you know, more advanced stuff. But for now, what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to go into your character, right? And then we're going to go into motion capture tab here. 
And then you're going to scroll down here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on remove motion capture. And we're going to pretty much redo our motion capture again. So click on set motion capture here. And you're going to choose whichever motion capture of choice, whether your iPhone or webcam. I'm going to use webcam just so it's easier to follow for most users, especially beginners. So I'm going to use media pipe for this case. But what you're going to do once you finish setting up um, your input camera, which mine is this one. This is something that's very important just so it's easier for you to follow along. You're going to go down to where there's lip sync. And you're going to make sure to click on, we're going to say always enabled. Make sure to choose your microphone. And we can set this to hybrid mode, I guess. But just make sure at least the lip sync is enabled. Because what this will do is that it'll generate the lip sync node. And what we're going to do is that just, just so it's easier for you to like find it. So we can replace it with the OVR lip sync uh, node. I hope you're following along with that. Sorry for the confusion. But again... Set up the tracking solution of your choice, whichever face tracking that you want, and you know, set up to how you like, but make sure that the lip sync is set to always enabled. And we're gonna click on OK. I'm gonna set this to be none for my case. And then um right here, I'm gonna let Media Pipe take a moment to power up a bit. But if you did that, you should at least get like the default water dough lip sync activated. But even, you know, again, this is still nice though. But I'm still going to show you on the OVR lip sync one so you have a little bit more accuracy. So once you have set up the tracking of your choice, whether iPhone or webcam, and you do see that the audio lip sync from the default water dough one is working, what we're going to then do is we're going to go into blueprints. And you're going to find the blueprint that corresponds to your face tracking. Again, whether your iPhone or web camera doesn't matter, it, it's, you know, you just need that face tracking blueprint created. And then you're going to zoom out with your scroll wheel and use the left click to move around the blueprint. And you see the way that I'm moving? You're going to go and find the generate lip sync animation node here. It should look something like this. It should have the green button here for reset microphone and this is what we're going to replace so you can go ahead and delete this node with the delete key on your keyboard and then what you're going to do is you're going to type in OVR in the search bar and if you see this that means you installed it properly if you don't see it you may want to retrace your steps to make sure that your you know that the CS script, the C sharp scripts and the DLL file is properly put, like in case you misspelled something with the folder. But go ahead and add the node here, and then it should be like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to connect the output blend shape list here to here, and then you're going to put the output blend shape list here to here. So connecting the list together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to then Click on character and set it to your character. Then set the microphone to the one that you chose, uh, which I'm going to use Steel Series. And then what you can do is you can click on Auto Map Vicene. Um, this is again assuming that you properly named the Vicenes again from the tutorial that I had uh, from you know the previous tutorial. If yours is VRC based, I think it might be able to detect it, but even then. Uh, check that rigging tutorial if needed, but otherwise you can click on that or you should be able to, yes, here, um, you should be able to like write down what the blend shape name is. So if it's like a VRC sort of name, like VRC.sil, for example, then you'll have to type that one out. But otherwise, you know, you should be able to have it on map. It should detect just fine. And... From here, you should notice that the lip sync I have is a bit more dynamic because of the fact that, again, we're using the OVR lip sync node here that allows us to have more accuracy with our lip sync. And again, this should still work if whether your face tracking blueprint is iPhone or web camera, but hopefully what I explained kind of makes a bit more sense regarding installation wise. But either way, uh, you can set the gain if you want the audio lip sync to be bigger or smaller. Default should be fine though. The RMS samples, you can mess with that to see like, it, you can just see like, um, depending on like how you want your blend shape to look like. Default should also be fine for the most part. 
Uh, especially, like, if you're also combining, like, air kit blend shapes. Uh, it, it, it can't, again, it really just depends. You'll just have to mess with the settings, really. But here you can set the provider. You can actually have enhance with laughter. So if you want it where the lip sync can detect your laughing, then you can actually have that. But otherwise, if you don't like it, it like, if the lip sync is a bit too much, um... Like, whenever you talk just a little bit, it moves too much. You can just put Enhance or Original, depending on what you like. I'm going to leave it to Enhance with Laughter. Ha 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 ha. Like that. And then you can even add some smoothness, or you can make it a bit more snappier. You can even bind, uh, add, like, a binary to it. So if you want, again, just super snappy, then you can actually just do that. This is also probably good if, let's say, for example, you have, like, 2D, like a 2D lip. Like, you're using a plain mesh to do your lip sync, and you want the transition to be super snappy, you know, because you're trying to get that 2D look to your mouth. Then you can actually just use binary, and you can be able to, trans you know, move between the OVR blend shapes, and it won't have a transition at all, it'll just be snappy. But otherwise, I'm going to leave it to be smooth, you know, just the smoothness. You can enable acceleration, or you can not... And then you can even show debug. So if you don't see the lip sync working at all, you can check uh, enable show debug to see if the values are moving. If the values are moving, then that means things are working fine. But if nothing is moving at all, then that means that it's not working. You may need to check if your microphone's good or anything like that. So there you go. But otherwise, that's pretty much in a nutshell just how you can be able to have more accurate audio lip sync and utilize more blend shapes so that way you can have just more control over how your lip sync is. And this can again be very nice to mix with, you know, AR kit and over your lip sync so that way you can have, you know, your expressive AR kit but also at the same time even more expressive mouth movement. I will warn you though that again depending on how your blend shapes are made you may experience some clipping issues with your ar kit blend shapes and over lip sync blend shapes i would recommend again you can mess with the gain here to like adjust how the audio lip sync is influencing your you know your mouse so like there could be less clipping like you can set the gain to like 0 0.5 if you want to have like a little bit of audio lip sync but also still have air kit as well Otherwise, though, you could also go into the tracking sol solution of your choice, whether media pipe or eye facial mocap or just, you know, just go to the asset that corresponds with your tracking solution. Again, I have tutorials on how to set up your tracking if you are new to that. You can then scroll down. You can configure the blend shape mapping here and just change this top. Um, you can just change this like top left setting, adjust it so it can either be influenced more or less. Like, you could change the settings here, or even use global sensitivity and make it easier on you. So that way, like, um, you know, you can just kind of, like, experiment, really. Um, but either way, those are at least, like, some recommendations if you're trying to mix AR kit and over your lip sync at the same time you're trying to make it where the clipping is less. Again, just experiment with those settings. You may also want to mess with the physical blend shapes themselves in case, like, again, there may be some things you might want to adjust. But otherwise... You know, all I can say is congratulations. You're able to get more accurate lip sync. And I hope that you have fun with this. And I wish the best of luck. If you have any other issues regarding Wadudo or the setup, then by all means, please join the Wadudo Discord server. As there's many people who are super active to helping you. But otherwise, you know, uh, I, hope you guys, I hope you guys have a lovely day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!